Welcome to all of you. In this lecture, we are going to discuss 74192 mod down counter. Under that, we are considering two questions. First one, design of down counter to count from 8 to 3. Second one, design of down counter to count from 8 to 4. Now this is what the mode table of the uh, 74192 just for the sake of recall. Now let us get into the first question. Design a down counter to count from 8 to 3 that is n is equal to 6 using 74192. Let us get into the solution of it. So this is going to be the truth table. So it has to count from 8 to 3. So preset value is going to be 8. Preset value in the sense the beginning value must be equal to 8. Then total number of counts that it is going to make is equal to 6. Is equal to 6. Therefore, n will be equal to 6. Clock down is being used over here. So this is Q0 to Q3. So as we can see, it is starting from the value 8 and it is moving towards 3. After 3, it must come back to this value. Now, this is what the truth table and in this truth table itself, I am going to uh, take you apart how to design the feedback which will be connected to the PL. Right. So now let us make a clear understanding of how the feedback is being designed. Now the value is being started is 8. So that is this value. And then as it reaches to 3 as a part of down count operation, after 3 by default, it will move to the value 2. But we don't want this value 2 to be displayed on the trainer kit. So at this point, we have to consider this value 2 and we have to make a design of the feedback. One thing we have to remember. So while considering the down count operation with respect to the feedback to the PL, we are going to consider the bits which are having the value 0. Right? In the down count operation, in order to design this feedback value to PL, we are going to consider the bits that are having the value 0. So when it comes to the value 2, Q0, Q2 as well as Q3, all these three are having the value 0. Therefore, we are going to consider all these three in order to design the feedback to the PL. And make sure that when you are going to make these three as a combination, in any other cases, the same combination must not give the value 0 at the output because PL gets activated when the value feeds to this is equal to 0. When it is 1, it will be deactivated. Right? So, as we can observe over here, so Q0 and Q2 is connected to two input R gate. Output of this will be connected to the another R gate along with Q3. So that will be given to the PL. And here once again we have to identify a proper logical gate which acts as per our requirement only at this particular instant. Right? So now let us make a cross verification. Does this is going to work or not at this particular instant? Right? So Q0 and Q2. So Q0 and Q2 are equal to 0. So output of this gate will become equal to 0. 0 will be given to the second R gate as well as Q3. So Q3 is also equal to 0. So 0, 0, output is 0. So PL will be fed with the value 0, which is going to activate the preset in an asynchronous manner. Also, let us verify in any other previous cases, what will be the output of these two gates? Now, uh, in, in case any one of the inputs is having the value 1, by default output will be equal to 1. So it will be in the regular down count operation. Right. Okay. So in this case, in this case Q0 itself is equal to 1. So Q0 is 1 in the sense output is equal to 1. We need not verify the others. And then in this case Q2 is equal to 1. So Q2 is equal to 1 in the sense output is equal to 1. And then again here uh, both Q0 and Q2 are equal to 1. Here Q2 is equal to 1. Here Q0 as well as Q2 is equal to 1. And in this case Q3 is equal to 1. Right, one or the other bits of the Q0, Q2, and Q3 are equal to 1 in these cases. Therefore, 
in all these cases output of this combination will be equal to 1 only when it comes to this particular position the output becomes equal to 0 that will be given to the PL therefore PL is going to asynchronously load the preset value 8 to the output because of which after this value 3 it makes us a feel that we are shifting to the value 8 so it is so fast changing from 2 to this preset value such a that in such a way that we are not able to observe the value 2 on the driver kit right now let us get into the uh, further details now this, this is going to be the configuration we are going to have the q0 q2 and q3 the combination is connected to the combination of these two input or gates right so as a one time setup so we are going to uh, provide pl is equal to 0 and we are going to set d0 to d3 is equal to here 1 0 0 0 right preset operation is being enabled as you can observe over here preset operation is being enabled so that the value present on d0 to d3 will shift to q0 to q3 now the output as we can observe it is 1 0 0 0 the values from which we are supposed to start now that is available at the output further we need to continue with the actual down count operation right with respect to truth table also this is what the value we are going to have right so once we have fed the initial value to the output then in the next stage we are supposed to connect the output of this R gate to the PL let us go through that now as we can observe over here so output of the R gate is connected to PL now it will it will be operating as per our requirement now we are at the down count operation as you can observe PL is equal to 1 so here you can observe the output of this combination of R gates is giving us the value 1 therefore the PL is equal to 1 so it will uh, continue with the down count operation this is the required this is the required inputs with respect to the uh, down count operation then MR is equal to 0 yes MR is connected to the ground it is 0 CPU must be equal to 1 so CPU is connected to 1 or to the VCC then CPD is connected to the clock so it is clock now it is going to perform the down count operation right now we are at this stage now when we apply the clock pulse for this one so it will keep shifting from this one to the next state now let us go through that now here is the value so one decrement has been happened and still we have to keep observing on the output of this R gate so this R gate is equal to 1 means we need not to worry it will keep continue with the down count operation now here is this value is what is available for us on the output right so it is 0 1 1 1 now let us continue further one more down count operation it is 0 1 1 0 still uh, input to the PL is equal to 1 further it is 0 1 0 1 so 0 1 0 1 input to the PL is still equal to 1 further one more down count operation so it is 0 1 0 0 now input to the PL is still equal to 1 further the last count what we required is 3 so we have got 3 now at this stage also input to the PL is still equal to 1 so we are still in a normal down count operation let us step further so when we apply the clock pulse further immediately the output by default will enter into the value 2 because it's a sequential down count operation that is happening right so that's what we can observe over here so it is 0 0 1 0 we are going to get now immediately these values will be given uh, will pass through the R gate and the output of the R gate will become equal to 0 the same value will be feeded to PL so PL gets activated and asynchronously the values present on D0 to D3 has to be loaded to the output right remember in spite of we are going to get these values during the regular count operation we are not able to observe these values because all these two are the combinational and this is asynchronous therefore immediately the values present on d0 to d3 will be feeded to q0 to q3 let us observe that right so asynchronously the value has got loaded 
that is 1000 has got loaded and output of the R gate now it is becoming 1 so regular down count operation will continue and this will look and this is going to happen in a cyclic manner right now let us go through one more question that is design a down counter to count from 8 to 4 that is n value is equal to 5 using 74192 the similar procedure we are going to follow here also but the only thing is uh, the combination of zeros we have to identify initially so that uh, we can uh, we can properly identify the feedback process now let us go through the procedure so 8 to 4 it has to count so preset value is 8 and total count value it has to make is equal to 5 right so now starting from 8 so up to the 4 it is going to count this is what the 4 value after 4 again down count operation it uh, after 4 the down count operation we are going to get is something like this that is value equal to 3 so make an observation in this value 3 we can identify q2 and q3 are equal to 0 these two bits has to be considered in order to design the feedback therefore R gate is being used over here so in any other combination of these two the output of this R gate remains equal to 1 that's what the care we have to take so any other gates if it is possible yes we can make use of it but the only criteria is only at this particular condition the output of that gate or the combination of gates must be equal to 0 in all other cases it must be equal to 1 so that's being satisfied over here and uh, quite simple we have to search for a simplified solution right so q2 and q3 is given to the r gate and output will be given to the parallel load right now let us go with the uh, circuit realization so as uh, uh, as the previous procedure we had discussed as one time measure the preset signal we are going to make use of uh, so that uh, the parallel data can be loaded to the output therefore we are keeping this as zero these values on d0 to d3 will flow to q0 to q3 respectively then after the feedback will be connected to the pl so uh, in the in the previous lecture uh, it has also told that uh, so in case if you are not going to connect initially what is going to happen nothing is going to happen for the first time you may start with some random value and then after one cycle everything will set back as per our requirement we need not to worry about that also right now at the initial so this is what the truth table we are going to have so initial value is being set equal to 8 so that's what we can observe over here also right let us go further now here is what we can observe this this uh, the output of the r gate is being connected uh, to the pl and at this instant this instant in the sense the output is equal to 8 at this instant the output of the r gate is equal to 1 so as and when we apply the clock pulse it will keep counting downwards so we are in the down count mode now we can apply for that now when we apply the clock pulse so the value we are going to get will be 0 1 1 1 at the output now let us see that at 0 1 1 1 we are going to get and combination of these two bits again it is going to be equal to 1 so output uh, input given to the PL will be equal to 1 so still we can continue further with the clock uh, with the down count operation now apply one more clock pass we are going to get the value 0 1 1 0 so the spot is present in the two table also so apply one more clock pass so we are going to get the value 0 1 0 1 so again we have to make observation over here also right so then one more clock pass so it is 0 1 0 0 again output of the R gate is equal to 1 still down count operation will continue so now is what the important the next step so now when we apply the clock pass we are going to get the value 0 0 0 0 1 1 as the output that we don't want this value to be displayed uh, at the output uh, but as a part of sequential down count we are going to get but not observable it is going to change in such a fast way that it is not we are not able to observe that uh, as a, a part of output right as we can observe here 
q2 and q3 both are uh, both of them are equal to 0 because of which output of the r gate will also become equal to 0 same value given to the pl now the pl gets activated and asynchronously it is going to load the values d0 to d3 to q0 to q3 let us observe that right so asynchronously it has loaded the value from d0 to d3 to q0 to q3 so we are going to get the preset value now on the output and this is what is over here right preset value in the sense so either we can observe over here our very first value what we can consider and this will continue in a cyclic manner right this will continue in a cyclic manner so similarly we can make a design of any such uh, uh, down count values ranging within the counter range so that uh, we can have a design of it right only thing you need to take care of the which gate you have to make uh, use of as a part of a feedback that will be connected to the pl that's what the challenging issue thanks for joining